Hi friends, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I am well myself. And it's another beautiful day that the Lord has given us and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. want to thank you new subscribers for joining i hope you continue coming in and uh, to who who is watching without subscribing please click on that button it will not cost you anything so today i've, I've been wanting to do this video i've actually shot it a few times but i was like i'm not sure because i didn't want to call this out because uh it's something i knew that was happening or god alerted me and my husband eventually and i didn't want to call it out because you know demons react when they're called out yeah but i realized that part of my job of course is creating awareness and a lot of people are going through this even in this season especially and that's why you feel exhausted and because uh it's been a long year and towards the end of the year sometimes a lot of things happen and because people are so exhausted and some are very afraid they start doing unusual things sometimes to especially when they feel like they haven't achieved what they wanted sometimes they will just attack somebody else but this is not really such a case but i will talk about it like the title suggests they are watching you and god will alert you and part of the alert sometimes is dreams and sometimes it's god just sending someone to confirm what you're feeling is true or what you're seeing or what you're thinking for sure is true when you look at the book of psalms 23 um psalms 23 uh when you read the chapter and i didn't bring my bible here but when you read the chapter it's just like it's making you aware that uh aware enough to confess that the lord is my shepherd it's like i'm dedicating my life to him and when you see that uh journey of what he's about to do or what he has done to some people that he has led you beside the uh the the the, the, the still waters and laid you uh or, or, or on the green patch or the the green grass or whenever you were tired just to give you some rest uh, you realize uh, for some people that they've already done that journey. The other day I was reading it and God was showing me that you are at this point where uh, surely goodness and mercy is following you because you have believed, yeah? And I'm not talking about deserving. You never, there's nothing you've done enough for you to deserve God's blessing or God's glory. But this life is about doing a journey and graduating. You know that thing we say, uh, glory to glory? And uh, let me tell you, you can grow so much, yeah? And still face a lot of challenges. Uh, but there's that experience of knowing that God has me. No matter what happens to me, he will still be with me. So let's get to the crux of the matter. So the other day I had a dream, yeah? And I dreamt that somebody was getting some intel uh, about me. It's like they had investigate, they were investigating me, and they had paid someone to actually get them the information. And where they, where now they met with this person to for, for them to get the information or the report that they had been waiting for. Uh, they were sitting opposite each other, and it's like I was closer to the person uh, giving the report, but my back was to both of them yeah and i was holding uh, a child i don't know whose child that was but it's like telepathically the investigator was communicating to me please keep your face turned away so that she doesn't see you and but she was giving the whole report just like she was paid to do uh so she was giving a report about us you know and you know just telling her about her findings on what she was asked to investigate but at the same time she was cautioning this person that yeah this is these are my findings but also be careful because uh this is very dangerous like this is a dangerous territory if you mess with these people it's going to be to have some repercussions but this person who had sent uh, uh the other one to investigate um uh, like I could tell like I could read her mind you know how dreams are I could read, read her mind and it's like for her that was a challenge like no matter what you say she was getting stubborn and like 
uh, even though she had the report, she was like, in her mind, I still have my ways. I can still do my trick. And between you and me, even as I saw that person and knew that she, she's the kind of person who would ask things about us if she had the opportunity, or perhaps she has been asking, I still felt like it was a camouflage, like it was somebody else using her image, or as they say, a decoy, yeah? So I thought about it and when I woke up, I was like, man, this is so wrong. And so later, like in the evening, I shared with my husband. And so like a few days later, he tells me, man, I had this dream. And he tells me uh, about a certain situation here yeah, uh, that I will not describe. And to me, <laughs> the person in his dream was actual was actually the person I was thinking was camouflaging used, using this other person's image. You know what I'm saying? It's like the one who was asking, even though I could see them and I knew they could do that, it's like there was somebody else hiding behind them. And so that somebody else is the one who was in my husband's dream. I know it's tricky, but I'm saying all this to say uh, sometimes uh, you will have people monitoring you and not in the best of ways. And when we're here, when we are out here in the public, of course, there are people watching us, uh, people who know us and people who do not. And also there are people who do not have good intentions. And there are people who know us from the past and they happen to even be enemies. Yeah, uh, the kind of enemies who will not let you go uh, because they are like, you do not deserve this, you know. Or maybe they don't even understand the grace of God upon you. Because even though we are all children of God and we all deserve grace and... Uh, with God, he aims to bless all of us and just lift every one of us. He's put us on very peculiar peculiar paths, very intentional about our journey and purpose. Sometimes we get, we get our lines crossed, crossed, and sometimes we look at someone and be like, she's actually living my life. I've ever felt like that about somebody, like, ah, this person is living everything I've ever wanted to be. To, to be. And in your in your last journey, you will realize that what you thought uh, was your particular journey perhaps is not. But God is very keen on unraveling what your journey actually is, so that you may achieve, you may attain your purpose for for that particular season. Because purposes change, uh, or rather, your your purpose will keep changing. God will keep sending you on different assignments, and as you as you do them he takes you to a different one as you graduate from this one and get all the experience he takes you to a more challenging one or su such a thing yeah uh, that's what i believe but anyway sometimes people will think oh this person is living my life they don't even deserve this i could do whatever they're doing better or if i was in that position i could do it better you know not knowing that if god wanted you there they, he would put you there for sure yeah but all these things uh, and crossing paths with people, they'll have, sometimes people will think that, just like I said, that they can carry out this mission better. And perhaps they can, but God did not give, in to, give it to them, yeah? God did not intend for them to do that. It is your purpose. Because this is what will grow you. This is what will challenge you. This is what will build your your faith muscles you know and this is also what you're called to do to shape the generations that come for, for you and the generations that come after you know what i mean so anyway sometimes people will feel challenged when they see you and even though sometimes you feel like so small or so ineffective you know how like god was referring to jacob as uh the warm ja jacob you know uh oh warm jacob and assuring him that he will be with you uh, with him yeah uh, because sometimes Jacob felt challenged and God knew you know and he would assure him that he will be with him he was the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob never did he plan to leave them at any one point and these people had real challenges in life yeah but God was with them and he knew he would bring certain generations through them does it mean that other tribes are not great does it mean that they you know, they were not great warriors, great fighters, people who could perform the task better. They were. 
I mean, there were tribes of giants and stuff, yeah? But God, like in the case of uh, Goliath and David, God chose David to kill Goliath, you know? And he was insulting God's people and David being so small, he didn't even regard him as a giant. He came and he killed him. He knew first of all that God would, will be with him and he has he is trained for battle he had killed wild animals before he could do this you know and even when everybody else was trying to deter him and being like you're so small even the brothers what do you think you can do here because they didn't know all the battles he had fought while in the field because they were not doing that for them they were soldiers you know but they didn't know that this shepherd boy could do so much and he ended up killing the the giant you know so it doesn't matter your stature it doesn't matter what you look like to the eyes of people because sometimes for us people we see with our eyes you know uh, and we'll be out here proving people like oh this one can really do this you know but god now surprise surprise is like no 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 somebody from back of the line somebody you can't even see among the crowd so small come over here this is the one who gets to do this task for me this is the chosen one this is the person i've chosen for myself you understand and that's why god assures uh you know a lot of people throughout the bible history and tells them do not be afraid if there's one guiding uh scripture for me is isaiah 41 10 when god told me Chaupe, <laughs> do not be afraid i will be with you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand and i will fight your enemies you know so my confidence doesn't come from just being me it comes from knowing where god has taken me through you know and the guiding scriptures he has given me i feel like sometimes god was speaking to me to my heart you know and showing me not to be afraid and showing me my en look i've encountered my own enemies you know and i didn't even react the way i thought i, I, I would you know because I had this blessed assurance. There were, t there were times I was being attacked live, live alone these spiritual battles where people are monitoring you, you know, and trying to make sure that you don't reach where you're going. And Bapo, they don't even know where you're going, you know. They just don't want to see you do well. They just don't want to see you thrive, you know. And that's okay. It doesn't matter what we as humans want. But God is keen on fulfilling the purpose he has put in us. And it is for us and what is for you is for you you know and if you could just focus on what is for you you your your success would arrive faster your breakthrough would come faster you understand what i'm saying anyway so i'm not saying this to spook you uh especially when people know that they're being monitored because god will alert you there's nothing that will go on there's nothing evil that will go on without god alerting you and telling you that this is what is happening arise and pray you know just like he was doing with elijah he would wake him up like wake up and eat because the journey you're going to you're going to take from here will be long and hard you know god will give you a heads up every time every time so don't be afraid god is keen on protecting you he will be with you this is not easy because as much as god shows you your en your enemies He's keen that you pray for them and bless them, you know, and be cool about it, you know, because that is like piling hot charcoal. It's like act opposite of what they expect. Do not get into battles because the battle belongs to the Lord. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here and I pray that God blesses and protects you because that is what he, he aims to do to protect his kids and keep them safe. Yeah uh i just pray that he does that for you each and every day you know covers you because he says that though the weapons are formed they will not prosper and every tongue that rises against you it shall not you you will be able to refute yeah so we we we, we deny or we refute all those words all those negative words that are thrown to us we do not belong there they're not ours yeah they will not affect us you know and uh, God says that if this thing ever happens again, uh, same chapter, Isaiah 54, it will not be by him. If this affliction arises again, it will not be by him. These people do not have permission to attack you. 
they do not have permission to even monitor you you know so he will have to deal with them i mean you just leave it to god he will deal with it himself you know so whoever rises to be your enemy too bad so i'm gonna leave it here god bless you god keep you god make his face shine upon you and your generations is going to be okay it is well with you and may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen i'll see you on the next one bye bye